Welcome back to 60 seconds. Last we left off, we actually survived quite well. Um, we weren't able to get our daughter and she did die. We left her out in the bomb. We just couldn't reach her. Otherwise, we were going to die too or Ted was going to die. And uh, Dolores is out exploring. Ted explored last time and he got some soup and a new uh, first aid kit. And I think that's about it. And, uh, and yeah, he did, he did pretty well. Oh, he got water as well, which was like amazing. So, let us see what we have for today. We knew it! The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give us exact dates from the radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they would be in, in touch in a couple days and told us to await further instructions. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is very brave. There's nothing going on, nothing new going on with Ted. And so we don't need to give rations out to anyone. We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you'll end up with more roaches. And that's not ideal if we do anything about it. If we don't do anything about it, we'll end up glowy just like them. It's time to shoot them. Time to shoot them damn roaches. We can't just let them go, you know. They give us radiation sickness or something. Uh, what is that radiation sound? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Timmy is very hungry. All Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. So, all right, Ted, you want water? Timmy wants a can of soup. I think it's like the first time Timmy's ever eaten in his life. Our gas mask has been badly worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's just a good time to have it have it go fixing at it. What? Uh, we don't have a Boy Scout journal. That is unfortunate for us. We can't fix it. Oh, Dolores is back, but she looks pretty fucked up. I have to say. What does she bring though? We don't really know how to repair it, so it's probably best to leave it alone. We're glad to see Dolores came back safely from the wasteland. The nearby docks housed some fancy looking boats. One of them managed to survive the tidal wave caused by the atomic blast. Well, kinda. It landed in our neighbor's house. Or on our neighbor's house, and it seems and it looked worth checking out. We found a few soup cans in the yacht. My phone went off, I'm sorry about that. If you heard that. Uh, we found some soup cans. It seems like rich people like soup. Oh, we found some water. Hell yeah. Since the ocean is pretty salty, keeping in mind the drinkable water on the board was pretty reasonable precaution to take. Now that the reason for us is to take it with all. Yeah, take the water, whatever. Timmy wants some water. Dolores would love to eat something. And Ted and is ill. And Ted is fine. Alright, so Dolores needs this. I'm going to give her a water and a soup can. And I'm going to... What did, what did he want? I think he said he was thirsty. Yeah, he's thirsty, so he doesn't need any any soup, but he definitely needs water. All right, definitely going to prepare. Let's see. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the race line right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. I think I'm not going to go send someone out right now. I think we can last a, a, quite a while right now, and since it's still really irradiated, we probably don't want to send anyone out until we have more supplies, maybe. I don't know. The trash can is becoming full. Uh, yeah, the roaches were there. We don't have anything to protect ourselves from the roaches again. Unfortunately. Damn roaches, man. Damn roaches. Oh, we're growing like a full beard now. That's nice. You know, it's not really a stubble anymore. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh my, that thing is huge. There's another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel dirty. Okay, everything seems fine. Dolores is, cu is cured, and Ted is fine. All right, so no one needs any any rations. That's great. Uh, our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. We can't go out. We can't. It's just, it's way too risky. Our gas mask is worn out. I know, but we don't have a Boy Scout manual. We can't fix it. It's just, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Let's see, we really don't know how to repair it, so it's probably best to leave it alone. Alright, Ted is hungry. Dolores is fine. And Ted should, and his Ted's thirsty as well. So here you go, Ted. Dolores is fine, Timmy's fine. Alright. There's your rations for the day. Um, oh, it's off, seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We won't know until we go out. Do you know what? It's time to send, ten, send a blah, 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 Ted. He's vigorous. All right, and let's listen to the radio. We know very little about what's going on outside. It's a good idea to find out more and maybe discover if anything else made it to safety. A radio could help with this. Hell yeah. Radio is so goddamn important. I'm so glad I get that every time. Because like, if you don't have a radio, you miss probably so much in the game. 
Alright, let's see. We were able to get a weak signal on tapping the government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Yes! Timmy should eat something. Ted is fine. And water want er, and Dolores wants water as well as Timmy. So Timmy wants uh, food and water. And I believe she just wants water. Right? And and uh, Ted is completely fine. There we go. Alright, we are sending Ted out to go search for supplies because it's nice and safe, you know, there's no radiation anymore. It's good times. It's good times. There's a lot less fallout. We're having we're having good times. Alright, let's read this. What's going on? Timothy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? Like, oh my god, my phone. Why is it going off so much? I'm sorry, I gotta move it. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Alright, so she definitely needs food. So Dolores, here's your tomato soup. Drink that right now. Slurp it right up. It's gonna be delicious. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue message mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is, they provided us with a geographic co coordinates, but we need a map to find out where they're supposed to be headed, otherwise it's completely gobbledygook. We have a map, thank god. Alright, I'm gonna send Timmy if we have to. I'm not going to send an adult, because if we send an adult and someone bad comes, they could take over our shelter. And that's not something we want to do. A quick glance at the map made us all, or made, gave us all the information we needed, we left them a message and a bottle. Okay, cool, we didn't have to send anyone out. And everyone is calm, we don't need to give them any rations, which is great. Um, it's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, we can't help thinking about this terrible situation, is our house standing, or will it move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? Um, your house is gone. Like, <laughs> you, I mean, you've left the shelter before. You know what your house looks like, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Timothy doesn't need much, but he should drink. And she wants water as, as well. Alright, water for both of you. Here you go, buddies. We're about to go to sleep, but we heard some scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing, but as soon as we discovered it was something much worse, someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. We're shooting them. We're shooting them. It could be Ted, but Ted would know how to get in. Like he's trying. Ted wouldn't try and pry the door open. We will shoot you. You're trying to come in here and get into my abode? What are you doing? I will shoot you down. This is my fallout shelter. It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The situ the question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all the ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Well, we do have a giant axe. Both of them want to eat, I think, as much as anyone can find. Oh no, okay, just Timothy wants to eat. That's perfectly fine, it, right? Yeah, just Timmy is hungry. All right, Timmy, here is, you know what is like really getting to me? There's a fly in the game. I keep thinking the fly is real and like it's touching my face, so I touch my face. Oh man, I'm getting like really immersed into the game because of that fly. It turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more of the cockroaches, and those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean them up. We gotta use our gun again. Because otherwise, like, the cockroaches will take us over and we'll probably get sick. Oh, he's back! Yay! He does not look good. Oh, he's hungry and tired. Yep, that makes sense. He did bring water, though. Ted has returned safely from his voyage to the surface. Thank God. We believe that an expedition to the wasteland must be followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived the blast wave. One of them was the local bus station, and it used to be a central hub for bums and vagabonds in the area, but now it stands there empty. We decided it's worth checking out, hoping that someone left a few soup cans behind. We got one soup can, which is great, from a backpack, and yep, their favorite flavored tomato, obviously. It's the only soup that's out there. You know, only tomato soup exists in radiation, of course. And then... Our local athletics team were preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match. Two bottles of water, that's great. Timothy is good, at least he was five minutes ago, and Ted is really hungry. 
And Dolores. Alright, so you two can get food. There you go, buddies. Do we want to send anyone out? I don't think we do because they said someone might be following us and we should be careful. So we should lay low for like a couple days for them to like leave the area. Dolores has returned from- oh wait, af after Dolores returned from the last expedition, she's complaining about a minor foot injury. It might have been her right foot, or maybe her left foot, one of them anyways. It seems irrelevant at the time, but now we're both- now both of her feet are swollen? We need to do something about it? Oh no, we have to use the axe? We have to cut off her feet? That's not a good idea. That can't- I mean- that can't be a good idea. Do we cut off her feet? I don't think so. Oh man. Uh, do we cut the feet off? Because then there's like the infection chance and the radiation. I mean like if both her feet are swollen and they just kept getting more swollen after some type of injury. Both of her feet are swollen. I mean she hasn't been doing anything. Is she like... She's just hungry. You know what? We, we can't cut her feet off. We gotta wait. If she gets sick, then I guess we put her down. But in the meantime, like, we don't need to, like, chop her. Oh, she's sick. She's... Th and she's... Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. We didn't do anything about the infected wounds after all our ancestors would survive without that fancy medicine. I didn't, they never said there was an infection. Just said they were swollen. Okay, everyone is thirsty. And you know what? I'm just going to give everyone food. Oh, no, we don't have any supplies. That's so bad. Here you go. Uh, yeah, we should definitely prepare for an expedition. If anyone's going on an expedition, we might as well send Dolores. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I think we're going to send her because she's already sick. One minute it was all fine, and the next we're at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves. We're going to survive. Let's just sleep on it. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna send her out. If she's not dead, we're gonna send her out. Oh my god, she looks so horrible. She's fatigued. And he's still tired, so we can't send him out. Oh, this is not good. There's nothing better. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Uh, you know what? I'm sending you out. Oh wait, we don't want to give him... Wait, is anyone thirsty? I don't think so. No, no one is thirsty, so we don't need to give him any supplies. I'm sending you out. If you die, you die. That's all I have to say. Hopefully you bring back some medical supplies. Hopefully you bring back some medical supplies. Damn, people are looking really dirty now. Ah, uh, Timmy's pretty fatigued. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it safe and sound. Ted is pretty fatigued. Why is everyone so fatigued? Here, take some stuff. Drink it. We are afraid the army won't get back to us, but eventually they did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended in a big if. The speaker requested that if any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. We don't know what this is about, but it sounds as they are violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws and rights left, or is this just for themselves? Do we throw our gun away? Ah, man, that's... We shouldn't throw our gun away. Like, why would they say, Yo, yeah, you can come, but you can't bring your guns. Like... I'm not gonna... I'm, I guess I'm gonna do it. I mean, if if it is the army, like, who else would be on this broadcasting system? I guess it could be anyone, but... Man, I didn't really want to get rid of my gun. I'm kind of scared now. We decided to follow the military's order and got rid of our rifle. And did we did so with a heavy heart. Yeah, definitely a heavy heart, man. I really wanted that rifle. Good old Jimmy, the rifle. That doesn't mean that we'll ever get another one, though. It's true, we could get another one. No good news. There's nothing going on with Timmy. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. All right. That's good. How about that lake? Wait, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, we're going on stupid vacations. Tired and fatigued. I guess we give you guys food again? Like, you guys are just, like, super tired and fatigued. Maybe if we give you food, like, you won't be so tired. How about that lake we've been going to the past few years? It would be good to find ourselves, though, far away from this madness, swim a little, and maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place turned into Adamville. You'd probably die. You'd probably die. If you did that. I'm just saying. You'd probably get ripped arenoed. 
Oh, it's still better. It's safe to see the dread up there. Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? Nothing going on with Ted. All right. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. He used to tell us brilliant stories about the turtles, elephants, and wizards. It would be so reassuring to hear one of those stories again, and yet we don't even have a photo of him. Just memories. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, snoring? Did they finally sleep and not tired? No, they're still fatigued. Damn. Do we got like one more day? I want to go to 30 days and see how it ends episode on 30 days. And so we are left with no photos. Oh, Ted is rested finally. That's good. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Wait, someone... Okay, good. Alright, okay, what happened here? A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow full of all kinds of goods has stopped by today for claiming he's trader looking to barter items he requires. What is that? Oh, is that a, that's a card game? A flashlight. I don't think we really need this anymore. We're not getting sick. The radiation has gone away. Um, Maybe the poison? The poison would probably be pretty good since we don't have a weapon anymore. The Boy Scout manual is not going to be our Boy Scout manual, obviously. I'm going to go with two. Let's see. Um, let me press the right button for one. All right. Uh, two. Nah, I want the... Can I... I want the offers. Can I not take it? What's going on here? I don't think it's letting us take it for whatever reason. I don't know why I didn't let us trade. I'm really sad I didn't. Hmm. Or maybe he... Oh! He was asking for... He would give us water if we gave him something. Oh, that's why. We refused the right. To, we refused the trade. Hopefully, we made the right choice, but the trader was not too happy about it. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Ted is really thirsty. All right, here's your water, guys. So he would have gave us water. There's no need for the radio to go out in the radioactive wasteland, but it seems it will become a necessity in the near world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this habit sooner rather than later, and plan for a trip outside, but first we made a third step beyond the shelter doors. An unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. We only had moments to decide what to do. We couldn't do anything. Ripperino, are we dead? Oh, Dolores is back! And she didn't get anything. She is definitely going to die. All right, anyways. Oh, we got a Boy Scout book, though. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we got some ammunition, but we don't have a gun anymore. So, damn. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of 60 Seconds, don't forget to leave a like. It's very much appreciated and helps out the series quite a lot. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.